science is, yeah. Back in the good old days when I started, they didn't have the technology that they have today. And getting away with murder today is extremely difficult. There's just too many capture devices out there, too many cameras, and too, way, too many ways to get fingerprints and or other yeah, DNA. I mean, I walk in this room and I'm sliffing off skin and hair. And, and unless these criminals are shaving their bodies, which it happens, the really good ones, and they wear condoms, and they're uh, really difficult. Uh, I uh, I was asking. There was a, a a crime scene up, I think, in Paradise Valley, three, four, five years ago now, and there was this young woman who was murdered in her home up there. And they found no evidence, none, no, no, any, none, 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 and they could not solve this crime. I think she was strangled. It's been a while. And then all of a sudden, they had a clue. And uh, they knew where to go or to find this this piece of evidence. And I even asked Lisa. Said Lisa, where did they find the evidence? What what type of evidence? And she says, Mike, I can't share that piece of information with you. I I won't. I won't share. It's like Dexter. Dexter leaves behind a little blood smear up in the lighting fixtures or something. And unless you know where it is, and how to what you're looking for, and go there with a swab and pick it up, you're never going to find it. They knew where to go, and they know how, knew how to find this this piece of, of DNA. I don't know. That's what I'm figuring. But the DNA is only useful if it's in a database. If you you've got a place where this the specifics, the origin of this DNA is is preserved. Not everybody's DNA is in the system. The vast majority of people are not in the system.